Hey everyone, I'm back with a brand new video. This time, I'm right in the heart of a bustling market. It's super chaotic with people wandering everywhere. It was definitely a challenge, but such an amazing experience. Finding the right spot took a bit of searching with so many trees and buildings around, but I finally found a cool spot with a nice background, foreground, and just enough space to bring the painting to life. Let's dive in. To start, I did some shadow filling using burnt sienna mixed with cobalt. Now burnt sienna is really bright, warm and intense. So to tone it down a bit, you can mix it with cobalt blue, sap green, olive green or ultramarine blue to cool it off sometimes. This gives you a nice base for shadow areas. If you want to deepen the shadows, add more darkness. For the deeper areas, mix burnt sienna with ultramarine blue. For acrylic paints, it's super handy to carry a simple steel plate or thali with you. Why? Because once you are done painting, you can easily scrape off all the leftover paint. It's a practical tool that you can take anywhere, so no need to worry about fancy palettes. Traditional methods often work best. And when it comes to finding the right spot to paint, it can be tough. You'll want to keep your gear light so you can wander around until you find the perfect scene, object or landscape that feels just right. So carry lighter stuff whenever you are going for outdoor on the spot landscapes. I have shown you the picture of the landscape on this side so you can easily compare the reference with my painting. This way you can see how I am applying the colors starting with the first layers and then gradually building up the patches. Keep an eye on both the reference and the painting to really understand how the patches come together. It will help you get the technique down. As a beginner, when you look at a painting, reference or the actual spot, it can feel overwhelming. Everything, the buildings, trees, objects seems to scream for attention, urging you to add them to your painting. But you need to step back and simplify. Erase unnecessary details and focus on the main color schemes and patches that create a play of light and shadow. This is where experience comes in. The more you paint, the better you'll understand what's essential and what can be left out. Also, study the works of old masters like John Constable, Van Gogh, John Singer Sargent, and even Indian painters like Sir Besai, Durandar, Haldankar, and Deuskar. They mastered the art of landscape painting, whether in watercolors, acrylics or oils. By observing their methods, objects and depth, you'll gain valuable insights. So keep painting, keep learning and keep watching how others approach their art. After marking all the shadow areas, I'm moving on to the mid-tones, clearing up the white spaces on the page and filling them in. This helps me get a better sense of the scene before adding my details. Now, since I'm using acrylics, I'm not going for fine details with thinner brushes. Instead, I'm simplifying everything into patches. If I see a small box, I'll break it down into three patches and leave it at that. Up close, the painting will just look like a bunch of patches, but when you step back, the whole image comes together. This technique is inspired by John Singer Sargent, if you look closely at his paintings, they seem like random patches, almost like a child's artwork. But for, from a distance, they transform into something incredible. I love this approach and I'm on a journey to gain that confidence with patches and strokes.
Now you can see I am refining the painting by adjusting the darkness in some areas and lightening others. This is helping me create more depth, making it clear which elements are in the background and which are in the foreground. Once I have established this contrast, I will move on to adding highlights. After that, I will dive into the finer details.
After a while, the harsh sunlight started bothering me. I couldn't even see the painting properly and there wasn't enough space to adjust. So I decided to change the spot entirely. I kept the details I wanted to add in mind and found a more comfortable place to continue painting. While doing that, I also noticed some mistakes like colors that needed to be brighter or dimmer. So I made those adjustments as well. <laughs> 